Welcome to WatchMojo.com. My name is Mike Pellegrini from K-Bell Training Academy and president of Keep Train with Mike. Today we're going to talk about kettlebell training's secret to building strong and stable shoulders, the Turkish getup. The shoulder joint is one of the most common injured joints in the body. And the main reason for this is that it's a less stable joint because it can be moved in so many different directions. On top of that, we are constantly stressing it in everyday life, exercise and sports, and the shoulder has to be strong for us to pull, push, and lift things off the ground. I'd like to introduce Nick. He's a certified kettlebell instructor and trainer with Lake Hip Train with Mike. Nick's gonna help us uh, demonstrate the Turkish getup today. Before we do the Turkish getup with a kettlebell in our hand, we need to make sure that the shoulder and the body understands that the shoulder needs to work in a certain range of motion and is capable of working in that range of motion and the shoulder is able to keep perfect alignment okay, throughout the exercise. And we do that by working with either a shoe or a water bottle at first. So Nick's gonna lie down on his back to get into the first position. Nick's gonna take the shoe and place it on his fist of one of his arms, which is gonna be fully extended, aligned perfectly with the shoulder. He's gonna make a complete fist here. And what's very important is that the elbow is locked out, the wrist is neutral, and the entire arm is lined up with the shoulder. So we're gonna kind of drop this arm into the shoulder joint. Now, we're gonna bend the same leg of the arm that's extended, and the other leg is gonna be at a 45 degree angle from the midline of the body. This arm here is gonna be extended out just a little below the shoulder. So now we're in the first ready position. First maneuver, Nick is gonna do the quarter shoulder roll. He's gonna roll entirely onto his opposite shoulder with his entire body together, keeping his eyes on that shoe the entire time and keeping that perfect alignment. Now using his arm that's extended and the foot that's in the ground, he's gonna push himself up onto his forearm using his entire body. Now he's gonna get himself up on his hand extend his hips in the air to get into the half Turkish. The entire time he's looking at the shoe and there's perfect alignment with the arm and the shoulder and even that bottom shoulder of the hand that's on the ground. Now Nick is going to fold his leg, the extended leg under his body and push through the ground and using his obliques to get into this lunge position. He's going to straighten out his back leg so that he could lunge. He's on his back toes. He's going to drive through his front foot and stand right back up. Always maintaining that shoulder alignment, always looking at the shoe. Now he's gonna reverse it. Reverse lunge. Knee down onto the ground. Place the free hand on the ground. Beautiful alignment. Unfold the leg. Get back, his hips back on the ground. Slide the free arm back so that he gets both his shoulder blades down and he's completed one Turkish getup. So where do we go from here? So for him to be able to graduate to using a kettlebell, he should be able to do two to three sets of five repetitions on each arm without dropping that shoe or the water bottle. Then he's ready for the kettlebell. So when we're starting with the bell, get back on your back and make sure the bell is right beside one of your shoulders. So Nick is gonna roll completely onto his side, grabbing the bell with his bottom arm, top hand on top. See how close the bell is to his body? This is important to protect the shoulder as he's lifting the bell up onto his body. Now he's gonna roll onto his back with his entire body, move his arm away, and press the bell up over his shoulder. Now if that weight was too heavy for Nick, he could have used both arms to press that weight up. Now you're ready to go. Bend your knee, other leg 45 degrees to the midline of the body, and we're off. So at the end of each rep, when you're back onto your back, we're gonna bring the kettlebell back to the shoulder so that starting each repetition off, you're doing the press. So in terms of programming the Turkish getup, we wanna do no more than five repetitions or under. So you program it for power, but you can do it in any phase of your training. To get maximum benefits out of the exercise, build up to your heaviest kettlebell. So remember that one of the most important elements of the Turkish getup is to focus on shoulder alignment throughout the entire exercise. It needs to be done slowly. So get your Turkish getup on, and to learn more about kettlebell training, check us out at watchmojo.com.